need your help. My heart is praying. I need your help. I don't want to find no more. I don't want to find this more. Oh, na na. Oh, na na. Oh, na na na. Salam and peace. Welcome to Dawadud. Inshallah, today in our polish or dawa gems, I'd like to discuss and the, go through this uh, posting uh, by Apostate Prophet. And um, it's all about the predestination. It's a pretty important topic uh, in a polish or dawa gems. We bring important topic uh, and we address those topics. So it can help us uh, to improve our Dawa skill. So if you want to subscribe to my channel and see all those uh, various uh, polish your Dawa gems, so you can have benefit with that. And uh, in this uh, uh, posting, uh, first we go through this posting and we'll see the why. Uh, he is wrong about the predestination concept of Islam and, and, and then we give a proper response on that. So let me read what he posted actually. He says that Allah creates Jack, expects Jack to believe in him, design Jack's personality, intelligence and environment gives Jack the option to make choices in life, determines exactly what choices Jack will make, watches Jack make the choices that he predetermined, gets angry at Jack and blames him, put Jack into help hell and burns him forever. Allah is the most merciful, the most kind, and most reasonable. Now, he just made a general statement, a general blanket uh, idea. This is what it goes on. Well, that's not true. This is not the how free will works. Okay, and uh, first of all, Allah do not force, but Allah gave a guideline. Allah created a human being and provided the guidance. And also sent the prophet and messenger and books for human humanity so they can be guided. Allah asked human being to inclining toward truth, towards righteousness, and stay away from falsehood. And this is a simple way that every human beings are given the opportunity. For example, let's Allah creates, just creates only 100 jacks. And all 100 jacks, they disobey Allah. And then in the end, Allah put them into hellfire. So what's the point of creating 100 jacks? And all of them are going to hellfire. Same thing, Allah creates 100 jack. And all of them become righteous. And then all of them get to paradise. So in both cases, what trying to achieve, it doesn't make any sense in a way. Because Allah already created angels. They are all perfect. They obey him. But the, when he created human being, he gave human being a will. So they can choose between right and wrong. And that's the whole purpose of this creation. So Allah created this for a human being, a test. We can ask question to Allah why he did create. Because this question is also addressed. Because the, if you go Surah Baqarah, chapter 2 and verse from 30 to 40, you can go and there's a story of Adam and Eve. And the angels asked these questions about that. And Allah responded then. So again, the angels surrender and they say we have no more knowledge than what Allah has taught us. So AP is confused about this. AP has a full choice 
that he can be inclined toward truth. He can seek guidance from Allah and follow the path, the called the straight path. And that's basically as simple as that. And uh, more detailed explanation on that, I saw the um, video clip uh, from uh, Sheikh Uthman Ibn Farooq. It's a two minute clip. I will like to play that. That will clear this whole issue in, in a nice way. Okay. And we will all learn from that. So, the question, if everything is predetermined with the concept we call Qadr, then what's the incentive to do good, right? In Islam, we have a belief that our Creator knows what we're going to do. But that does not mean we are forced to do it, right? These are two different things. It is not like you're a robot and you know, their program has already been programmed and you're going to sin because it's programmed to sin. No, me and you have choices. In things that we have choices, we will be questioned and we will be rewarded or punished. In some things, we have no choice. I had no choice what color eyes I would have. You have no choice, I'm, I'm assuming, unless you got an application before birth or anything like that. So you will not be rewarded or punished for that. Your race, your physical ability, if you're born with any challenges, you will not be rewarded or punished. If just because you're an Arab or Pakistani or Jew or this is no different than anybody else in Islam. Everybody's equal. Anything, whether it rains or not, whether those things we have no choice. When you were born, when you're going to die, you have no choice. You will not be punished or rewarded for it. But in things you have a choice, you will make that choice. Predetermination does not mean it forces you. Right? Like tonight, you could be out drinking, partying, doing drugs or whatever else, but you're here listening to this really cool guy speak, right? Great choice. But right now, in that, you have that choice. So then Allah will, for example, make this a means of guidance for you, right? This will be something good for you. If you make a choice to do something else, you will be punished, you will be asked, you will be questioned. If we kill somebody, we will be asked on the Day of Judgment, why did you kill them? Right? You can't just be like, oh, it's destiny. No. You made your choice, you will be held accountable, right? Now that is from the greatness of our Creator that He knows what we will do. But He does not force it upon us. Cool? I like the response uh, from uh, Shaq Uthman, and uh, I think that will help. And uh, Shaq Uthman um, has a lot of good video on One Masjid Foundation. You can subscribe to his channel also. He's the Imam of Masjid al Rabat, and he has a regular Dawah booth and every Sunday at San Diego, on Balboa Park at San Diego. But today, looks like a Sheikh Uthman made a free speech area in Balboa Park as a California's free speech area. It's an amazing uh, popularity because of this one Dawah booth over there. And the people are amazed and they love to watch uh, these talks all over the world actually and uh, I think the San Diego is soon will be very popular because of Taqus uh, Sheikh Uthman. Jazakallah khair and uh, I hope uh, you can also subscribe to my channel Davadud and um, I'll share some more good videos and good uh, polisher Dawah James responses inshallah.